Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to install Docker and Portainer on a Raspberry Pi. Now Raspberry Pis have come a long way, and early on this wasn't necessarily possible. But with the new Raspberry Pi 4, you actually have a lot of computing power in that small little device. And for that reason, tools like Docker and Portainer have become real options on the Raspberry Pi. Now it's definitely not going to run all containers, but for a lot of containers that require a little less computing power than most PCs actually offer, this is a great option. So we're only going to be setting up Docker and Portainer, but in future videos we're going to be installing a bunch of different containers on the Raspberry Pi, so subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing any of those. Before we get started, there are also full written instructions in the description with all the commands that we'll be running. So you should always update your Raspberry Pi to make sure that you're on the newest version of the operating system and all your packages are up to date. But after you do that, what we're going to do is we're going to run a curl statement, which is actually a script that installs Docker. So as soon as this command finishes, Docker will actually be fully installed at that time. So after it installs, we're going to give our Pi user permission to run Docker containers. And after we do that, we're going to pull down the latest Portainer container for ARM processors. So the Raspberry Pi uses an ARM processor, and that's the reason why we need to download this specific image. After that's done, our next step will run this container. And after that command finishes running, you should be able to open up a web browser and navigate to the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and port 9000. So if you're for whatever reason using port 9000 for something else on this specific Raspberry Pi, you're going to have to use a different port in that docker run command that we just ran, but most people aren't going to be. So you should be fine using port 9000, and if you navigate to that, you'll be able to access it now. So Portainer is fully installed now, so just create a username and password. At the next page, you're going to have to select local and connect, and the reason for that is because we're going to be managing the local Raspberry Pi. And as soon as you hit connect, you should be connected to Portainer. It'll be fully installed now, you'll be able to use it, everything should be good. So like I said earlier, we're not installing any containers right now, but we'll be using Docker and Portainer in future videos. So this is kind of the baseline and moving forward, we're gonna be building on top of this. If you're interested in seeing any of those videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if this helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching.